Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. Hey, welcome to a video. All right, this was a recommendation in the comment section, I wanna say yesterday. And it's funny because I actually do like Gustave Doré's work, but I wouldn't consider myself a huge fan or super knowledgeable of his work. So it's interesting. I'll get into my sort of um, experience and exposure to him and uh, why I've never really followed his work that closely. But uh, I thought what we would do is I pulled him up on um, Wikipedia, which I generally don't do, but I thought, you know, I don't know a ton about him. So we, I wasn't really even sure exactly the techniques that he uses to create the pieces. So it says that he was a printmaker, an illustrator, a comic artist, which I didn't know, a caricaturist, a sculptor, and um, primarily worked with wood graving. So he lived uh, from 1832 to about 1883. And that's all I really wanted to touch on. I'm not gonna go through the whole Wikipedia page. That would be too much. But um, so when I first started collecting comic books, like anyone, you know, you just go into the comic book store and you're kind of overwhelmed by everything. And I was just grabbing normal stuff, Spawn, Savage Dragon, Cyber Force, Pit, you know, the usual suspects that were the hot thing at the time. Uh, and then, you know, as you, as you like maybe, depending on the comic book store that you were going to, they would have that one weird bookshelf with like the arty farty books. <laughs> Giger or maybe like a couple of these illustration type books and stuff like that and so I picked up one book of Gustav Dorr's work and for some reason at home I already had a Virgil Finley book but I wasn't really in you have to understand I wasn't an artist at that point when I started collecting comics I was a musician only and was just known to be a good artist but I really only drew a couple of times a year but um just my whole life I'd always been kind of known as someone who could draw well um so anyway but uh yeah I picked up one of the books and it just never connected with me and it was one of those things that ended up in the garage I never looked at it I'd occasionally bring it in and it just never like clicked with me but there were pieces that I would see online that I liked and so it was one of those things if you see my black drawing work you would go oh this guy's got to be into this dude's work I really am not um but uh, I think I like enough stuff that's peripheral with it uh that I do but I don't dislike his work to be clear I just never I never got into it to any sort of uh, level so this will be interesting I'm excited to see if he wins me over someone similar to this that I do really love is Franklin Booth what I like about Franklin Booth though is it's not so much the techniques that he uses I like the way Franklin Booth actually draws I like the I like his actual aesthetic that's the difference is I think Doors aesthetic and the way that he draws people um, isn't maybe my thing, but is like all this detailing stuff is amazing. So, all right, let's get into this and see what we got. Thank you for the recommendation. And, uh, by all means, if you guys want to see something, let me know and we'll pour through it. I've already worked on blaster kid this morning for 90 minutes and I will be spending the rest of the day, probably another nine or 10 hours on it today. So, uh, for people curious about that as a work in, so this is from Don Quixote. Um, and the reason that I actually picked Don Quixote is one of the things that we're going to go through is there's one piece in particular that I saw of the Don Quixote illustrations that he did um, maybe five to eight years ago online. And I was like, what in the hell is this? It's not this piece. You'll you'll probably be able to pick it out when we get to it. But it was amazing. And that was when, when I sort of started thinking, you know, maybe I should give uh, Gustav's work another another peep so I would assume this piece is an engraving of some sort I don't know how engraving works to be 100% honest um, so I don't know if he did it on like they mentioned in the Wikipedia wood or if you scratch it in the metal and I don't know what I'm looking at here I I wish with Gustav's work that they would actually show a photo of what he actually did looks like and maybe this is but what I mean is if they're plates, like it would be really interesting to see one, how big they are, two, what do they look like? What are they on? And then like, I don't know, like does he dip, like does he put ink on this and then it's a stamp? I have no idea. And maybe the, maybe the different stuff that we look at will be different mediums. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I really have no idea how this works. This to me looks like a, uh, like a, a drawing on paper but I, I don't know. I don't know that for a fact. 
So someone will be far more knowledgeable than me. Uh, let's we can go into full screen mode. Let's do this. Because it doesn't really matter what order we go in. This is nice. Yeah, I thought this would be really fun. I grabbed three very, very different um, projects that he did. I mean, I don't know how different they'll look overall, but uh, one almost looked more like pencil illustrations. We'll see. I, I didn't get a good look at it. So I'm trying to remember. Let me rotate it. Oh, yeah. Rotate works today. That's a rare treat. At times, his work reminds me a little bit of some of Goya's pen, pen and ink work, or not, well, just Goya's work in general. Goya did a pretty large body work. This is nice. I say it with kind of like a, like, sort of, eh, in my voice. <laughs> I caught that, trust me. And uh, I want to apologize a little tiny bit for yesterday's video. When I make jokes about stuff in the videos, it's like, it just depends on my mood. But I wasn't really poking fun at Mike Butkus, if it sounded that way. Um, but, uh, yeah, sometimes I'll watch it back and I'll go, uh, you know, like, if you didn't know me and you hadn't watched a lot of my videos, you know, it could come off like a certain way. This is actually very, very cool. It's crazy how much detail is up in here. It's hard to read. I mean, it could be the reproduction, too. Maybe if you saw this in, in like, a, an original printed book or something like that, it would be pretty clear. It's pretty nuts, though. But, yeah, so, I, you know, I try to keep the videos entertaining to some extent. Um, but, uh, you know, I can see where someone might go. This guy's a fucking asshole. Fuck him. <laughs> this is actually very, very cool. I like this a lot. It's got that dollar bill engraving kind of thing. So this to me looks more like an engraving. Like I said, that one piece looked like a pen and ink piece. This, the folder that I had this in was called Extras, and it was in my um, Don Quixote book um, files. So I don't know if these are just random pieces that he did on the side. I can't imagine, the, the there's one in particular in here that that it would have been disregarded. But yeah, this is actually very cool. I like the techniques going on here. This is all really, really neato. Neato. It's the little white st streaks right there are interesting. Um, oh man, look at that. That's cool. Okay, I like this. I especially like the dude in the armor. Man, that is dope. God dang. You know, my warning for people that are interested in doing stuff like this is is make sure that you really love it if you're going to go for a style like this because it will brutalize you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can do it. I The only reason I stopped doing the black drawings is I actually got bored with horror. I felt that horror was played out and until I was very, very inspired to do something either sci-fi or horror in that genre... I wasn't going to continue with it. I can't fake the funk. It's like, I, I was really passionate about horror and kind of went into my own little world with it. But as I started looking at more horror art, it just felt very repetitive to me. And like, people weren't really pushing the boundaries with it. And it's like, granted, you can put that on your shoulders and go, well, you you should do that. But it's just, I, I don't know. The, it didn't, it wasn't clicking with me the same way. I'll definitely return to that at some point. I have an alien piece that I'm working on that's probably one of the craziest drawings I've ever done. So at some point that'll be done, but it's probably a two or three hundred hour dollar, two or three hundred hour um, drawing all total. But I'm I'm well into it. But anyway, blah blah blah. Blaster Kid is the priority. <laughs> Alien's nice, but it's not that. This is interesting. Yeah, you know what? This dude is definitely influenced by Goya. I'm going to go there and say that he's got, he likes Goya. I'm, you know, I didn't look where he's from. This is really cool. He really draws this guy in the armor in a very interesting way. He's, he's a little bit creepy. And, and I mean that in the most uh, endearing way. <laughs> it's the, the shapes of the armor are kind of, uh, like there's a disturbing quality to it because they're not smooth. It's like bumpy with like weird, almost skeletal like uh, appendages. This is beautiful right here. This is great. Obviously, when people see stuff like this, they think you know Bernie Wrightson, Frankenstein. That would be accurate. 
for sure. I, th I think Bernie was a fan of all this different stuff. I like this. Like, this is a very, very beautiful piece. I would I would make a photocopy of this and hang this on my wall and be very... and enjoy it. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the vibe that this is like an engraving, but again, I, I mean, I just don't even understand engraving at all and how it works. I know you work in reverse, or at least I believe you do, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. My cat's talking a lot in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but if if so, I apologize. Something is not right in the hallway, apparently. <laughs> Some of the pieces in the next book that I'm going to go through, I will move through quick because it'll get a little redundant. Because um, I opened quite a few files. We'll just we'll stick on the ones that have a curiosity or there's just something that catches my eye that's a little extraordinary like this piece. We can ask it past. If you really want to see a piece, I mean, you can always uh, pause it. Um, this is really, really nice. Very interesting. It feels almost like hell here. There's so many windmills. It seems weird that there would be this many. It's almost like a weird apocalyptic uh, landscape to me in a weird way. And this looks very, like, skeletal again yeah, this is a pretty i've never read don quixote so i don't actually know the story um but it seems pretty creepy maybe it's not maybe i'm just projecting creepy maybe i'm not <laughs> no i'm just kidding dude the sky is rad Woo, that is nice you know the one thing it's it's i get a lot of really nice compliments about the videos and again i'll always credit to the artists that created this stuff it's very very simple to just do videos and talk about art and it's fun too but i mean i definitely there's times where i'll finish a video and for the next day or two i'm just picturing the images again and again and again and i mean that's gotta be just amazing like fertilizer for your mind you know seeing something like this you may not use it for a year or two, but maybe one day you'll be drawing something and you'll start to channel this. You won't even remember. Um, well, it depends on your memory. This was the piece. So I had seen this online. It was a little bit of a darker scan of it. I kind of remember the sort of the contrast was a little more maybe like this. But man, I saw this and I was like, who drew this? This thing is nuts. I love it. This piece is awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I for a long time, there was... This is a funny segue, because it's, like, goes back to Travis. But Scott Doombeer had uh, an unfinished X-Men Wildcats Dark Ages panel that he had shown me one time at a barbecue at his house. And uh, this is a better scan of it, too, too actually. Or is this, like... I wish I had the other file open, but this is really cool. Um, but I, I, he showed it to me like, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago. And I'd only seen it one time. I'd seen it for maybe just a couple of minutes looking through a big sort of file of art that Scott had collected or had been given as gifts and stuff like that. And uh, it always, it just, it burned this image into my mind of this panel that I couldn't see online. I couldn't see it in a book. Um, and, uh, over the years, the image morphed into what I remembered it as. And it was very interesting because he shared it online, my, my, I don't know, in the last maybe six to ten months. Um, you know what it was is I'd asked him about it and he shot me an email out of the blue one day and goes, hey, he goes, you asked me about this. But I'd asked him about it like two years earlier. He goes, I, I made a scan of this for you and he sent it to me and I was like, oh my God, like that's the piece. That's the piece that I've been imagining in my mind. But my imagination had made the piece. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say better, but it was better. <laughs> <laughs> but things like this might happen to you too. You know, you look at this and you remember it a certain way. It's maybe not better, different. Um, you know, the camera, the camera, the way that I remembered it was pulled back more. You could see a little bit more. It was a little more suggestive. It had an, a slightly different atmosphere. It was very, very interesting to finally see the piece. But uh, I liked, I liked the idea that I didn't remember it accurately, and yet it, it had a big impact on me. And I think that what we do here with these fun videos um kind of maybe we'll we'll do that for people so this is really really disturbing like what is going on here we've got i'm assuming these are these are standing right 
that's wild shit. And oh, they're giants. And I guess this is a human size. Wow. That is really, really crazy. His anatomy is great. I love the way he's drawing these figures. Beautiful, beautiful cylindrical shapes. Do you see? I mean, he even renders around the legs. Um, you know what? I have to do a lesson today. And the person, um, this, I'm going to actually use this as an example. And it, these, these in particular, this is like, these are tougher shots to draw. Like a back view with the leg up and stuff like that. It depends, I mean, on what you're just you sort of get good at but uh anyway this is cool i like stuff like this it was funny as so i was raised by my grandparents i moved with my grandparents when i was like nine and uh they they had a family friend that was a doctor and so every year for christmas he'd always give my grandparents these big hardcover books generally of art it was very very interesting too is their house was beautiful they had like just a killer old like spanish style house and they had art everywhere and i remember going over there as a little kid every once in a while and it was just it literally i dreamed about that house for years after it but they had a suit of armor on the staircase they had these beautiful paintings that look like rembrandt paintings in my my memory version of it uh they had a london phone booth one of those red phone booths in their kitchen and tile and it was just it was like a fantasy world going to their house. Uh, but uh, he would give my grandpa these art books. And so as a kid, I would look through these books. And we always had fine art up in the house. Maxfield Parish, Mooka, all that stuff was hanging on our walls. Prints, but, um, you know, that was what our house was decorated with. Um, and then friends that painted. My grandparents had a lot of friends that painted for some reason. So we had a lot of paintings in the house, too. Which probably is why I'm into this stuff. It's weird, you know. I never put it together of why I lean more towards fine art and illustration, but I'm sure that's part of it, you know. This is really nice. Nice drawings. Um, but, yeah, it was kind of interesting. What's funny, too, is I went through a, our storage, and I found a bunch of the stuff that used to be on the walls when I was a kid. And it was funny because it's all they're all famous artists. Or, you know what I mean? Like, again, like Mooka or Maxfield Parish kind of. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Who knew we had a Maxfield Parish and Mooka print up in the house? I mean, I remembered them. I just didn't put it together. This has a little bit of a black drawing vibe. It's funny. I have the... There's a... I did one with, like, a castle up on a hill here and, and had the sky kind of breaking through the thing. It's funny. It's interesting. I've never seen this piece before, but it's cool. It's like, a little, like, some of it's a little Egyptian, but the elephants, I don't think, are accurate to that. As far as I know, I've, I've never seen any Egyptian stuff with big elephants. It's really, really cool, though. It's nice. Lovely. Yeah, some of this stuff is very, very cool. There's one, you'll when you see it, you'll recognize it. Um, I'll, I'll point it out when I get there. I like this. I Actually, it's funny because this is a, a, the head construction, the way this is done here is a certain thing. I don't know if it was like a, a style then, but uh, yeah, it's like the creepy guy with the, like uh, Bruegel and Bosch and stuff like that had that sort of really disturbing kind of structure. Okay, we'll skip this. This is the Bible stuff. There's gonna be a lot of sort of the same stuff. It's just guys standing around in robes, which is cool, but God damn, like cat is just jammering. What is going on, kitty? <laughs> Like I said, we'll just skip these. I just want to get to the, like, more, I guess, more comic booky things. Beautiful um, values on this. This is cool. Yeah, this is really neat. Very, very cool. I like the stairs or whatever, the, like, carved stairs. This is nice, too. It reminds me a little of the video game Journey. <laughs> Not the band. Oh, this is nice. He's like, is that full of beer? What is that? <laughs> oh, man. So interesting. I don't know how many of the. Uh, this is nice. Down here, this dark area, I kind of like. Let's count the hatches, just for fun. 
Let's see. So he's got lines going straight across. He's got lines coming down. He's got lines coming this way. So it's at least three directions. And he may be, well, and there's some sweeping this way. I don't, honestly, I never really break shit like that down. Because it's all, it's based on form and then fading stuff. So, I don't know. I've never gotten into the minutia of really, like, studying, like, line, line on artists. Being honest. It's, I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's never been really, like, something that I've done much. I mean, it's interesting, too. If you look here, I mean, he's actually running the lines a way that I wouldn't really consider on a sleeve. Meaning that they're going almost parallel, like in the uh, on the paper, horizontally. Um, you know, I would almost think to have stuff curving more. So it's interesting. You live and you learn. See, now I learned something from this video. Oh, this is really beautiful. It's funny because not that this was that long ago. Oh, I guess I was thinking when he did them versus what is actually going on. But the different breeds of dogs, like when they popped up. <laughs> it's like, when when did Dobermans first appear? Or a German Shepherd? Or even a um, Dachshund? <laughs> I know, Kitty, you seem to be very talkative today. Hopefully you can't hear it, because it's a little annoying. It's distracting me, actually, doing the video. That is really cool. Man, the forms here are just beautifully, beautifully rendered. Everything is lit. It's got a nice solidity. This is great right here. Really, really cool. Man, that is so nice. The These big sort of... I don't know, whatever you call them, or whatever on the thing, and, and that they're at a nice perspective. It's really, really nicely done. This is a great foot, too. Toes. And toes. And look, I mean, the, 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 that foot is acting a little bit. He didn't just draw it with, like, all the toes together. Like, you know, it's like, like that's a foot. He gave it a little bit of a oomph. This is nice. That's cool. That's cool. Like I said, when I when I was looking at the files, there was a ton of stuff like this. This is awesome. These are the ones that are interesting. Man, that is cool. I love this. This big drop of the wave, and they're just like, man, they're getting beat up. But not as beat up as you could get by the ocean, to be honest. Although, who knows how far they are from shore. Although, it's weird. It's like, I'm assuming this is water, but it almost has the... the Appearance of the silhouette of land a little tiny bit. It's interesting. And again, kind of like a little little Goya going on. This is nice. I actually like this. Up here. The darker, the darker palm fronds are a little bit of a weird choice, but... This is cool. Oh my god, I swear I'm gonna kill my cat. <laughs> it's funny shit. Actually, here, let me I'm gonna I'm gonna open it to this. Just look at this for one second. I have to see what's going on because she's being super annoying. What are you doing? What is going on? Why are you sitting there crying? Alright, I'm back. I can't pause the OBS or I would have. So yeah, when when I'm when I'm recording these videos, I can't pause it or stop it. Uh, I mean, I could, but I would have to edit the video, which I don't want to process. It'll take freaking an hour and a half. My cat was just sitting in the hallway next to a toy, crying, <laughs> like, "Play with me, please, Rich. No more YouTube." This is cool. Man, it's crazy. I'll do, I've done, I'm nearly sure, a video on Franklin Booth, may, possibly two. So you may want to look for that. And if you like this kind of stuff, I mean, definitely check out my Bernie Wrightson videos. I've done a whole bunch. Um, but uh, Franklin Booth is very, very cool. I could do Joseph Clement Cole. 
Cole's kind of like um, Dore to me, or Dore. I think it's Dore. Um, where it's like, I appreciate what, what he does, but I've never really been like a huge like fan. And then again, that doesn't mean I dislike it. It just means I've never gotten into it. It's, there is a huge difference. <laughs> the terminology, it always sounds negative. It's like, I'm not really a fan. It's like, oh, he hates it. It's like, no, no, no. I'm just like, I never got into it. There's this a huge difference. This is really cool right here. But see, like after this video, I wouldn't go back and really probably look at most of this stuff. There's a few pieces that I think are interesting, but... This will this will suffice me for several years, honestly. Sounds so negative. <laughs> it's like, god damn, Rich is a savage. That's cool. That's actually really cool. There's a lot going on here. Holy cow. Damn. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like you're in ancient Rome, everyone's gathering. Who knows, maybe it was a protest, a soft protest. And then the king or whatever just goes like, you know what, screw these people. <laughs> Let out all the lions. <laughs> we haven't fed them in a few weeks. Uh, that's cool. You know, it, it's, I really do, whoa, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> the the moray pattern that I created, that was really weird, right? I like his pieces with the, a lot of contrast. Like, this is really beautiful. I like the lighting on this. And then the suggestion of the wolves back there. This is pretty brutal. Damn. Um, wow. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I don't know. Like, it'll be... I don't know when you play back the video if the, some of these pieces will get that just on their own. Meaning that, like, depending on your monitor and the, the size of the image, that it, it may really get some weird distortion. Like, do you see that middle thing? It, like, makes it psychedelic. This, you know, it was interesting. As I was looking at something on the computer yesterday, and I swear, I was like, are these lines curved or are they straight? And it was, it was creating a weird optical illusion. But, man, working like this, this will test your eyes. It will test your eyes. You sitting close to a piece like this, I mean, it's obviously the pi very pixelated. It, it'll it'll uh, really, really test your vision. And, uh, you know, there's a reason that he died in his 50s. No. <laughs> his eyes killed him for all the strain that he had put them through. Can you imagine? Yeah, this is crazy. He really, really was driven. Far beyond driven. Okay. That's cool. Right there like that. It's a nice piece. Actually, I really like this. This is pretty cool. That's cool. Oh, man. That's pretty neat. <laughs> wow yeah that's really cool <laughs> it's weird <laughs> it's weird because i think these are bible illustrations i'm not 100 percent sure but but it's like it's got like a manga feel to it almost but they did say that he was a comic artist or, which is trippy this man this was like x-men for them back then <laughs> It's like, did you read the new installment of the Bible? It's insane. There you go. Go, Moses. Go. Okay. This is pretty cool. The baby looks pretty creepy and quite big, actually. That looks like a three-year-old. <laughs> it's a big-ass baby. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. My cat. I want to kick its ass. That's cool. Yeah, I'm a sucker for the darker pieces. Clearly, like, there's this, it's the contrast again. It's this, the bright, just enough lighting to make it dramatic. These beautiful, beautiful midtones, the, the more, more grays, and then this stuff. 
very little, if any, pure black on this piece, too. If you really look around, it's pretty challenging. I mean, I, this is maybe the darkest pure black, which is probably rendered, too. But, yeah, it's nuts. And again, I can't, I would assume this is an, uh, a wood graving, I don't, but I don't even know what that means. I really don't. So is this, did they dip the wood in ink and then stamp this? Like I said, I don't know. I don't understand it. Me no comprende. This is nice. Really pretty lighting on her. And this is cool too. This is nice too. He could have done a really good um, Stephen King's Dark Tower um, spot illustrations. <laughs> this is cool. The lighting on the clouds is great. That's hard to do. It was interesting when I was doing my black drawing pieces because I didn't really have a point of reference when I would figure out stuff like this. Oh my god. I would rack my brain trying to figure out lighting cues that you could do with line work that would create different textures. Because the thing is, is you can't, if you do the sky with cross hatching like this or swirly rendering that crosses over and stuff like that, you'll have no separation. This will look exactly like that. Even though the values are different, it's just doesn't really work. So if you'll notice what he did is he has all the lines going from left to right. So they're running horizontal in the piece. Um, but then creating a sense of value with that is very, very difficult. And even these, these beautiful, um, like slightly darker grays it's hard man it's really really hard and then if you do all the sheep with this sort of the the there were slightly more curved lines then he he did the ground with shorter strokes but they're all going parallel again so that these pop because if he used the same direction of line on the sheep as he did on the ground then it's going to look weird and the shadows of the sheep are drawn differently than this it's like these are rendered differently, the direction of the lines. You have to really, really come up with a strategy, which he clearly has. This is nice. I've seen this in many paintings. Uh, not this exact shot. I'm just saying that this object. Hey, the arc. I can make a joke, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> some people get it that is awesome holy shit okay that piece is kick ass damn wow that is really really cool i've always been a fan of ocean paintings um this is obviously a painting but uh man this is beautiful this is really really fantastic wow yeah, I would say right now there's about five pieces in here that I've really, really enjoyed. This is definitely one of them. I, I, I again, I could hang this on my wall and be pretty stoked to see it every day or you know whatever you kind of it catches your eye. Okay, these are beautiful. This, this, this I like. I remember this series of pieces. I've seen these a few times. Um, these are good. We'll see if it continues. I don't know if it's pulling stuff up out of order. It's nice. Whoa. Okay, and then this is the last group of pieces. These look like they were done in a different meme. Well, that's funny. That's um, that's the one piece that we saw earlier, but done in a very different style. I don't know what that's all about. All right, I'm not really feeling these. All right, well, that's okay. Oops, got a little bit of the run here. These are low-res files. Hmm. Okay. All right, let me do this. Okay, because this is going to end. Oh, okay, here, here are these, these interesting yeah these are shitty scans of it but there's one piece in here that i really like and then we'll end the video because i need to get back to the blaster kid this is a terrible scan this is nice very cool okay i'm gonna go quick just that that's nice i like that this is cool yeah that's that's really nice This is nice, too. Uh, I don't know what is going on with the scan. Damn, they're wacky. Let's see. Oh, is this the raven? Oh, this piece. This is... I, I, it's not a terrible scan of it. It's a little... Though you can see a little more kind of going on here. Let me just fix the contrast just the, the tiniest bit. I've seen it online, different... A different, you know, some people pull it real dark, 
so I, I, it's hard for me to say what actually it originally printed, printed like, but I would say it's something like, but I always thought this was a really beautiful piece. I love the, um, the cloak or whatever you want to call it, like over the, um, I guess it's the Reaper. It's very, very cool though. Beautiful, beautiful piece. But all right, I'm going to end the video there. I hope everyone has a great day. Please recommend other videos. Rest assured that I am working on Blaster Kid. And, uh, I, you know, like I said, I'm sticking to the plan that I had. I know that there's a lot of comic news going on right now. Nothing has changed for me, honestly. Uh, my goal was on the 21st of, of this month to really kind of make an official announcement and then hopefully fire off the, the campaign very shortly after. But uh, I wanted to get feedback from everyone, but uh, I just needed a couple of weeks to like, you know, I like I said, I just finished a deadline. I'd kind of been feeling shitty for a couple of months and uh, I'm back to normal and I'm working and doing long days and it's awesome. So just give me time to get my footing uh, and then we'll get, get it on. Get it on. All right. Have a great day. I love you all. Talk to you maybe tomorrow. If I get a good recommendation, I fire them off fast. You guys know that. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.